It looks like someone left their lights on. And now they're going to have a dead battery. This is one of those things the uh, Cascadias do. When the battery gets low, the uh, marker lights blink in a strobe light to let you know there's a problem. Good day and greetings and welcome to a fabulously flippin' fan-fantastic, thank goodness it's Mother Flippin' Friday morning. Looks like I found the record button finally this week, huh? Rolling out to Oneida, New York. Yeah, so the battery in that truck is dead. It's toast. Call the coroner. Stick a fork in it. It's done. <laughs> I walked over and checked it out. The door was open. And uh, whoever's driving the truck left their lights on. And I tried turning the key over to see if I could maybe charge it up, but nothing. So whoever drives that truck next or whoever's driving that truck, uh, I didn't peek in to see if there's anybody in it. Uh, they're going to have to make a uh, road service call to uh, get that going, to make that happen. Oh, that's an awesome sound. That will always be my favoriteest sound in a truck. So I'm out here in Oneida, New York. Big delivery of the day. I was told that I have a 5 a.m. appointment here. Apparently the appointment is for 6. I arrived here at 4.30 and at 5.35 I finally backed in. And, uh, ta-da! <laughs> I uh, kind of lost my thought of uh, train of thought there for a moment. Apparently, I can't talk today, which is nothing new. But uh, just to catch you up on what's been going on this week, because uh, I haven't felt like pushing the record button. Monday, I took an empty trailer out to our yard in Buffalo, dropped that, picked up a load that I took out and delivered in Newark, New York. From Newark, I went out to Rochester, a little dropping and hooking, hooking and dropping. Took a load from Rochester down to HQ. And by the time I got down there, I had about a half an hour left on the old DOT clock for the day. So I shut down there. And then uh, Tuesday morning, I bobtailed from HQ down to Newville, Pennsylvania. Picked up a load that I took up to Liverpool, New York and delivered. And there wasn't much going on from there. So I ended up taking the empty trailer over to Baldwinsville and calling it a day. Wednesday, I uh, went to the yard, bobtailed out to Rome, New York. Picked up an empty trailer. Took it out to Rochester, New York. Picked up the low... A load. <laughs> I can't talk. Holy cow. Almost got through it. Anyway, uh, Wednesday, let's see. Uh, went out the room. Oh, yeah, that's right. Picked up a load in Rochester, took that down to HQ, and then picked up my load for the next day, which was a uh, delivery out in Hamburg, New York, which was yesterday. And then once I was done in Hamburg, I went out to uh, Canandaigua, New York, to pick up a load that wasn't ready to be picked up yet or it wasn't loaded. Uh, there was a technical problem with the load, so I ended up going up to somewhere else in Rochester, picking up a load, which I took back to the yard, dropped it, and uh, hooked up to this trailer here. And uh, here I am in Oneida, New York. Ta-da! Now you're up to date. That's what you call old school U-Haul. All done with the big delivery out here in Oneida, New York. Rolling out to North Chile, New York. Pick up a load going to West Hampton, New Jersey, which I'm taking back to the yard in Syracuse. How you doing? Taking the old 30-minute uh, DOT waste time safety break. Out here at the Warner's Travel Plaza. Just waited 11 and a half minutes for my food. <laughs> The lady said that she was sorry for the wait. I said, that's okay, chickens are hard to kill. <laughs> I don't think she appreciated the comment very much. So uh, I'm gonna go eat my chicken biscuits, roll on down the road. Out here at my pickup, out here in North Chai Lai, New York. It's 72 degrees and sunny, a little breezy. It's beautiful outside. Too nice to be working today. And I got a little bit of a technical problem developing with the truck here that uh, hopefully it's nothing too serious. 
Well, I try to do this video outside. I try to show you the uh, issue that I'm having with the truck, but the breeze is just blowing too much in the microphone and uh, it's creating some really bad audio. There's a wiring harness underneath the hood that goes alongside the frame on the passenger side, and there are some wires that are hanging out of that wiring harness. They're hanging on the ground. It looks like maybe they got cut by the fan or something. So I called down the HQ and talked with the shop, and uh, they're going to have me drop the truck over at the Mac dealership in Syracuse when I get back. They seem to think that the wires are connected to the ABS sensor with the right front wheel, or it could be a bunch of wires that are just there that aren't really connected to anything but could be there for another purpose or something. Uh, the truck is still running fine. I don't have any warning lights or buzzers or anything like that going. So as long as that all stays cool and copacetic, I'll make it back to Syracuse and clean this out and then uh, probably be driving another truck for Monday. But uh, Way too nice to be working or be dealing with any of this stuff. I'd rather be home sitting on my deck enjoying a tall, cold, frosty barley pop right now, which uh, I think is going to happen this evening. As long as I make it home, it will. This afternoon has been one big technical difficulty after another. Holy cow, I'm home. I'm soaked. Uh, that load that I picked up out in North Chile, I took back to Syracuse, dropped it, cleaned out my truck. As you can see, I got all my stuff in here. And then uh, I took it over to the uh, Mac dealership there in Syracuse. And while I was cleaning out the truck, we had this massive thunderstorm roll through, so I got completely soaked. Then I uh, got a ride back over to the yard, found out what trucks I'm going into. I'm getting a uh, Freight Shaker Crapscadia for Monday, I hope just Monday. I'm not a big fan of the Crapscadias. And then uh, took care of a few things, and uh, ta-da, here I am, I'm home. I'm going to go in, take a shower, dry off, and then uh, make something neat, have a couple frosty barley pops, and enjoy my weekend. So uh, until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a good one, eh? I'm out of here. Have a good weekend when you get to it.